All right, well, I keep hoping that doing these videos is gonna get easier, but right now the problem I'm having is that for this particular lecture, muscle physiology, I generally have you guys do a skit and I use six students and I think it turns out really well, but I can't do that. We couldn't do it and keep social distancing anyway. So we are here in my garage and I have recruited my husband, wait, wait, my husband, uh, to help me out on it, okay? So my husband, Mark, say hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Yep, he is going to be myosin, right? He is going to myosin. be one of the proteins, a motor protein, all right? Mark is holding on to a rope, and that rope's got knots in it. The rope is going to be, is going to represent actin, and the knots on the rope are the binding sites on the actin. And yes, that's our shop vac, and the shop vac represents the Z lines, all right? Now, at this moment, the muscle is relaxed, right? Um, however, as soon as an action potential arrives, the myosin will go into action and cause the muscle to contract. So, ready, set, myosin, go. Wow, wasn't that amazing, right? What you just saw was myosin pulling the Z line or Z disc towards the center of the sarcomere, right? Okay, one more thing and we'll be done with this skit. We're gonna relax the muscle again. Hold on to the end. Uh, okay, good, all right? Now, in a real muscle, those binding sites on the actin are not always visible, okay? In a real muscle, those knots are not always able to be seen by my husband, the myosin, okay? Um, they are covered by troponin and tropomyosin, which will be represented here by these pieces of paper. Okay. Now, right now, right now, the myosin, my husband, cannot see the knots on the rope, the binding sites on the actin. And since he cannot see the knots on the rope, he cannot pull the Z-line towards the center. What that means is at this moment, the myosin could not contract the muscle if it wanted to. So what needs to happen? What needs to happen is calcium, that's gonna be me, calcium, when it gets released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum, it will expose the binding sites on the actin, like this, okay? So I am going to be calcium, and I'm stuck here in the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Man is crowded in here. Action potential arrives opens up the voltage-gated calcium channels in the sarcoplasmic reticulum. I'm free to diffuse across the sarcomere. And when I do, I bind to troponin and tropomyosin, and I expose the binding sites on the actin. And as soon as I do that, the myosin can uh, hold on to the actin at the binding sites and pull the Z-line towards the center of the sarcomere, okay? Now, I want you to remember that whenever we're talking about this stuff and you're looking at the animations, and the animations are beautiful, right? And it starts to feel really complicated and science-y that ultimately this is how simple it is, all right? I'm going to be referring back to this on my lecture. 